Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be taking a look at the NECA Disney Gargoyles Demona and Bronx. Now Demona I had to order off of Target's website. Um, got her in, box was in perfect condition, figure was great, no issues there. Bronx I found at the store and apparently one of his pegs is messed up and I did not notice that until just now. So that might be something we will have to fix at some point. Probably not during the video, but we'll see. Huh. Would you look at that? Might just have to heat him up and pop it back over. We'll take a look at that later. And so, let's actually start off by taking a look at Bronx. This isn't the default face. This is the extra face, angry face. Looks mean. Nice detail on the tongue and the teeth. And the face, he just looks angry. And this is like a kind of soft overshell type thing. I guess that way they can kind of reuse this body for someone else. Don't know who, but... The colors on them are pretty great. Got the blue, got some shading in there too. Bring out some of the musculature. Claws look good. Not too pointy, but not too soft either. Bronx butt. Same on the back with the shading on the legs there. Looks really good. Let's go ahead and go over Bronx's accessories. So you see this head, the angry head. Pop that off. Got the ball joint there. And you can pop on the regular head. Mouth closed, and it does have an articulated jaw. A little bit less angry than this one. This is my preferred look here. And then he comes with a meat bog stick. Which you can put in his mouth. But the best accessory he comes with is the reason why everyone wanted him in the first place. Is the folded wings for Goliath. which do look great. They are slightly softer material, but they make this pretty much an entirely new figure and I love it. They do kind of peg into the holes on the back and this is probably how Goliath's gonna stay. Save me a bunch of shelf space. Let's go ahead and go over our articulation on Bronxy Boy here. The head, as you saw, was on kind of a ball joint. So it goes down and comes off whenever you try to push it too hard. It's up like that. Down. Get a little bit of turn on there. Then it's also got this second neck piece too. So you can get a little bit more up, a little bit more down, a little bit more turn on there. 
And then of course this head has the articulated jaw. Change up the look a little bit. Now the front legs go out super far. And they do rotate all the way around. And this joint here, get you up that far, down that far, and that rotates as well. And top ankle joint goes forward that far, back like that. And then you got the toes. Just go up a little bit, down a little bit, and you can rotate on there too. This kind of concerns me though. Let me see. Looks like it just popped off the peg. So might just have to do a little bit of surgery on them to get that back in. I don't think y'all want to see that on video, so I will attempt to figure out how to do that later. Probably just got to warm it up and then see if we can pop it apart. me so this part's made of a softer material I guess and that is off the peg and it's kind of in this recess here so it's kind of hard to get to sorry this is not really super captivating but yeah that is not good so that might be something to look for when you're if you see this guy in stores or anything, make sure that joint is not popped off. Didn't even notice it until just now. But, okay. That's enough of that for right now. Did I do the back legs? I didn't do the back legs. Back legs go out that far. Actually come in a little bit. And they do go back forward and they even rotate on that ball joint up that far on that hinge and the ankle goes back forward and the same deal with the feet go forward a little bit and then you can rock on there too and the tails on a ball joint so you can wiggle that wag on that he looks great. I love the way he looks. You can get him in some nice aggressive stances. Yeah, he's great. Now let's take a look at Demona. The hair looks good. The face looks good. I love these, it's the added touch of these little metal earrings. That is wonderful. The hair is actually nice and soft, so it does get out of the way. This shirt piece here looks really good. Belt and loincloth looks great. Painted fingernails. This is another loose piece right here. Just kind of adds a little something to it, you know? Toes look good. Tail looks fantastic. If you're an 80s baby or a 90s kid like me, you probably had a semi unhealthy uh, thing going on for Demona. We all did, and it's okay. Now, as far as accessories go, she has 
good chunk. So you got kind of the clawed hands on her right now, and then she also comes with a set of fists. So she can punch fools in the face. It's got another kind of opened, grabby, not quite clawing hand. Trigger finger for the right side. That side there. And got a trigger finger. You got to have guns. Comes with this one. Don't know what type of gun it is, but it looks really good. And what I like to do is actually feed the feed it through first before I try to put it on her. I don't know how this is supposed to go. Like that. There we go. So you can see she holds it. Nice little rocket spike there. Would have been cool if she came with some type of effect, but I get it. And then she's also got this launcher type gun here. Scope. Little rails on it. And this one. It's just like that. And then you can get her to where she's looking in the scope, ready to fire. go over articulation on her in a minute still got a couple more accessories also comes with this book really well done looks weathered looks aged and it does actually open and there's writing on it looks like a torn page there really nicely done and then she has an alternate angry face super well done too I love the little wrinkles in the nose she looks mean like she's about to eat somebody and that has the earrings on it as well and then of course you've got her wings which the one thing I love about this line is I love the characters. The one thing I don't like about it is the amount of shelf space these wings take up. Because they're hard. If they take a shelf dive, they're going to break. But we knew that kind of coming in with Goliath. So it is what it is. And those, you got the peg holes in the back right there. This one is kind of loose. You can always thicken them up with some nail polish or super glue. Whatever you prefer. And if it's just the right side, I think the left side is a lot tighter. Yep, and those do articulate. But they make the figure hmm, semi unruly to handle yeah I'm definitely gonna have to thicken that up
but they do look really good and give the figures a lot of shelf presence all right that's just gonna have to come off because that's gonna make me mad So aside from the wings, we'll go over some articulation here. Head is on a ball joint. Looks up a little bit. Down a good bunch, good bit. Swivel. And you get a bunch of wiggle with her. Which is great. Arms go up that high. Rotate all the way around. You do get your bicep swivel. Double elbows. All the way up. Wrist all swivel and hinge. Diaphragm goes forward in that far. Back a little bit. Do get tilt on there. And rotation. She also do get waist rotation. She got some sick abs too. Legs go out that far. Forward that far. back a little bit you got some butt sculpt so and die rotation double knee does go all the way up knee spikes not crazy hard and then she's got the gargoyle type ankles let's go back like that forward that far and those do rotate as well plus you got the toe Goes down, goes up, and rotate on there as well. And the tail as well. Pretty much goes up and down. You can rotate it. And then it is bendy up until right there. And with Goliath, it was strong enough where he could actually put another figure in it and he would hold it. So that was pretty cool. size comparisons we'll just bring in Goliath here knock everyone else down because why not It's a little bit more squat right now, but they all run about the same size. So, apart from those minor issues, one I didn't even notice until just now with Bronx, and Demona's wings not being quite right, they are really solid figures. There's lots of good accessories, and I do, I do like them. So if you've seen them, if you're a fan of the series, I definitely suggest you picking them up. And as always, I do thank you for watching. Hope you come back to the channel for the next one. And her face just fall, fell off too. This is not turning out to be a wonderful video, but... Hopefully y'all learned something, laughed at me as I kind of try to fumble through things. If you did, that's okay. I don't mind. Oh, let's grab a little bit of nail polish, see if we can thicken up that uh, joint.
joint there. That's all you do. I just kind of do it, hopefully enough, just to add enough shape to the peg. Try one coat. And then you can kind of stick it back in there. Wiggle it around a little bit. And that did not fix the problem. So we'll keep playing with that, see if we can get that figured out. Wow, that is just super loose, isn't it? And that's just gravity. All right, well, I still like them. No point being negative with a figure you already paid for. But that could have been done better. I don't know why this one stays solid and this one doesn't. That is super weird. Hopefully that's something we can figure out and get fixed at some point. But thank y'all for watching. Hope y'all come back by soon. And I hope y'all have a great night. She's going to fall. Nah, just lay her down. All right. Oh, come back and see us again. Have a great night.